so fantastic. I'm so happy. I'm uh, so happy. We are Georgia and Diego. And this is our home, Unforgettable. For the past five years, we've been sailing the planet. Our challenge now is to continue the adventure as our family grows. When we were young, Subscribe we and join our life at sea. Today is the perfect day, it's just so beautiful, no wind at all, look how still it is. And this is the perfect condition to look for whales, yes. So today Diego and our friends, they went, actually our friends spotted three whales outside the pass and they went with the dinghy, Diego and our friends went outside to see if they can find the whales and swim with them. I really hope they can do it. And I cannot tell you how much oh, I wanted to go, but we have a little baby and someone needs to stay with her. I really hope tomorrow the conditions are similar and if they are, we will change the roles and I will go and Diego will stay with Isla. So how was it? Uh, we got so close. We saw it just like a few meters away from the boat, just like a hundred meters from the boat, but we jumped the water. I could see them. Uh, very quickly, but uh, you know, they didn't breach again, so it doesn't count, I guess. No. Yeah, I was just like, I saw them for like five seconds in the water really quick, I couldn't film anything. But it was nice, but we keep trying, huh? Every year in Antarctic, as winter closes in and food becomes scarcer, one of the world's great migrations take place. Many hundreds of humpback whales swim 6,000 kilometers to spend four to five months enjoying the warmer waters of French Polynesia, to breed and to give birth to their calves. The peak season to observe whales in French Polynesia is between mid-August and late October. During late October and November, when the newborn calves are strong enough Humpback whales migrate back to Antarctica. Luckily, French Polynesia is one of the spots where it's still a lot to swim with these huge mammals. And there are some regulations in place to protect these animals. We made sure to check and respect them. Hey guys for giving my outfit the sun is burning my brains usually these whales they can stay between 15 and 20 minutes under the water so that's when they will resurface when they are resting they stay at like uh, 20 meters deep 50 feet 60 feet and then they come stay on the surface for one minute and then dive again right now i'm in the spot i just saw the whale tw uh, two times with a 20 minute interval uh, i told uh, Josh and Rachel they are coming right now I'm alone in the dinghy so I'm waiting for them so one of us can look after the dinghies and the other two will jump on the water Day. And it's my turn to go look for whales today. Good 
morning, guys. Here I am, waiting on the dinghy, patiently, outside the pass. Here is like the boats are anchored around there. And I just came out to the open ocean and it's a calm morning. There's no wind yet, so we come very early. I'm just sitting here on this mooring bow, waiting for my friends that are going with me. And we will just motor a little bit around in every direction and try to see something, maybe a bridge, and then we go straight to it. Yeah, wish me luck, guys. I really want to see a whale. It seems so, like such an amazing experience. No, no, oops. No, nothing. Mm. Oh, we had we spent like hours on the dinghies, not just come here and have a look. Like we spent hours trying to find. No, that's a boat. <laughs> well, I'll just be here, and I let you know if I find anything. Oh, a turtle! I just spot a turtle. Hmm. Hello. I think I spotted already like four turtles. <laughs> But no whales, I'm sorry turtles, but I came for the whales this time. One hour that I've been here so far, now the wind is starting to pick up. Well, it's good because it was so damn hot, <laughs> yeah, but on the other side, the, the sea is not so calm anymore, so it's harder to see, to spot the whales and yeah, to ride the dinghy and everything, but it's still not, it's still not bad, so just can wait a little longer, oh, fingers crossed. We spent more than two hours on the dinghy outside the pass, but no luck with the whales today. Maybe tomorrow? We'll keep trying. Shaking like a soldier in my shoes. I had a dream. You were a laser light. Today is day six on our search for whales and I feel like uh, they are slipping through our fingers. We had very close encounters. We saw a baby just with a mom jumping like meters away from the boat and when jump on the water, they vanished. I saw a couple of the adults swimming down deep, just like for 30 seconds. The last attempt, one of the whales breached like uh, really two meters away from the dinghy and we jumped in the water, they vanished. So, you know, this is not sea world, this is nature. So if these animals, which are incredibly smart and intelligent, don't feel like interacting, there's not much you can do. They move fast on the water, they can go way deeper than we can. Well, all we can do is try. I'm kind of worried because we don't have so many attempts. Our time here, it's uh, finishing, the weather is deteriorating next week. So that will put some limit on how, how much we can search for them. But there's another day and this is not a bad way to spend the morning. I'm just here sitting on the buoys, on the lookout, and our friends are coming to join us.
When starting my studies as an oceanographer, Swim with Whales was one of the most idealized and romanticized highlights of my future career. It didn't take long to realize that this was something really hard to achieve, and for a long time I thought it was only for dedicated specialists like Jacques Cousteau and other legends. Till I got to French Polynesia. Since I found out that here was one of the few spots on the planet where swimming with whales was still allowed, it became an obsession. To witness these huge animals swimming freely in the open blue was for sure one of the most memorable moments of my life. It was a mix of adrenaline, incredulity and happiness. There's also something of holy, but overall it's magical and humbling. There's someone coming, I see, I see a happy smile in your face. Yes, drink. yes. You Pat made it? Yes, patience Woo! pays off, baby. It's so amazing. I, I cannot put in words yet. I think uh, it will be a while to take and digest. So you saw the whales? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, well, a dream. A dream came true today and I'm... How was it? I'm beyond Did happy. Did you see one whale? What happened? Tell me more. Uh, we saw one whale and we stayed with them for, uh, for with him, apparently a male for one hour so every time we would come to brief we could see him and just like take pictures and filming so amazing and it's so big it's so big when you're looking from the distance you look from the surface you can see sitting on the at 20 meters deep and i was looking it doesn't look that big maybe it's a small whale but when it comes to the surface <laughs> it's just massive it feels like you're in a dinosaur movie i don't know it's 
Unreal. Every 20 minutes, they, they, he would come to breathe and would stay just like three minutes on the surface and then go down again, stay another 20 minutes. And so, all this time you were on the water, like we're just waiting for him? Yeah, you were just uh, following because you don't want to lose. It's easy to lose them in the distance. See. Yeah. So just like uh, uh, making sure that we don't lose and waiting for the next bridge. And I stay in three bridges, so one hour in the water. And now uh, it's fantastic. Oh, great job! It's fantastic. I was thinking about you the whole time. It's so amazing. Oh man, that was so fantastic. I'm so happy. I'm uh, so happy. Congrats. How was this morning attempt? Ah, uh, we didn't get to dive with them, like to swim, but it was memorable. It was. We were going with the dinghy, like trying to find them, and suddenly, like, okay, we saw them, and we tried to approach, and then they disappear. And then like suddenly they, one of them just jumped like out of the water, like almost the full body outside. It was like, I don't know, 500 meters, less than that maybe. It was so beautiful. And then the other one also came out and they were like jumping three or four times. I tried to capture, but it was not time enough to grab the phone or the camera. So I don't know if I got anything I tried, but this the image of the first one that jumped it's just so stuck in my mind, you know, I cannot forget it. It's, it was so beautiful. I, I like I'm I really wanted to dive with to swim with them, but I'm happy enough that I saw them jumping really from close because it was so beautiful. They're like such amazing creatures. Hey guys, we're here to announce something that makes us very proud and happy, and it's also a huge milestone for us. We just reached 50,000 subscribers in our YouTube channel. Woohoo! Yes, we are so happy. 50,000 people that follow our journey week after week. Many of you have been, have been with us since from day one. And it's just amazing how far we've come. And I'm super happy for that. Thank you so much. We just made it because of you. You make it happen, guys. Thank you so, so, so much. When we started five years ago, I never thought we'd come this far and yeah i'm just thankful thank you so much who week after week are here joining us and uh if you are watching this video and you're not yet subscribed maybe you can reach 60,000, 70,000, 80,000. who knows yeah sure please subscribe and follow our journey and a special thanks to our patrons and apoyadores you make these videos possible guys thank you so much and if you want to support our channel another very nice way to contribute to our production it's to buying unforgettable sailing swag you can check the link on the description below to our online shop and there you find hoodies t-shirts mugs and some other very cool stuff so have a look yeah thank you so much guys 50,000 50,000 50, 50, oh my god thanks for watching this episode guys have a great week see you next thursday bye bye 50,000 50,000 50,000 50,000 50, 50, 50. 50,000.